We bought a house in the country. We bought a zoo. Not really, we bought a farm. It's because to us, vacation is really just being away from technology and work. So we bought a place in the country. Good. That's so cool, do y'all love it? Gosh, it looks we good. love, love it. it. I cannot believe you got it. I think it's gonna be super, super fun. The craftsmanship, the, the trim that you see in the house. The millwork. The, the millwork, the fireplaces. It's been there since 1930. What a gift. What a gift. It's almost 4,000 square feet. It's technically six bedrooms. We bought it from the Edwards family. They bought it from the Moors. The Moors are who built it. We're gonna really lean into classic country house design, which is gonna mean we're gonna have a lot of rooms with V-group paneling on the walls. That's something you see that's very classic and pattern fabrics on our chairs. We're gonna have wallpaper. A kitchen that feels very um, utilitarian. Utilitarian, that's the word. I love the kitchen cabinets. We have to change the layout of the kitchen so we can't keep the cabinets, but Ben wants to save yeah. as much as he can to build some things. So there's some right. good material here that I can use. Yeah, mm -hmm. now I just want the kitchen to feel very English country, very simple. So we're going to do new cabinetry and go to the ceiling with the uppers, almost to the ceiling, because we're gonna add beams to the ceiling. And we're gonna keep the oven on this wall, but shift it to be centered. And then we'll build in the refrigerator to the right of it. And then no tile backsplash, just V-groove walls everywhere in the kitchen. We pull up the tile floors, we put in hardwood. I want to build pantries on each side of that window. And then we'll have a bench seat between them. And then over here, a little breakfast table. So we'll have big comfy armchairs around the fireplace. Nice. And like a wool plaid. And this is the room where y'all can hang out while we're cooking. But I just want to be true to the architecture of the house. Think of the kitchen downstairs on Downton Abbey. <sighs> yeah. So this is all new. But look at the floor and you'd never you know. You can't even guess it, no. I love great. this walkthrough. I've just never had a big bedroom in my life. It is very big. I mean, how do you make it not feel cavernous? You have that space at that end of the room. Yeah. And there's not really a home office here. So here's what I'm thinking. You have a bed here. We lose these windows on the ends. So then we could build out against that wall a library. And then we could have a partner's desk on that end. So it takes up a little of the space. Not a gymnasium with a bed in it. Yeah. Because that's what I want to avoid. It feels nookish. Yeah, I want it to have more spaces. So it's more divided. And then the bathroom, it's very 80s, 90s. Come look at what we came up with. Yeah, let's see this. There'll be a closet door out here. How about oh, this? Yeah. It's a big bathroom. It's huge. But it's awkward. It's, a, it's because awkward. Look at I this. think this diagonal tub is taking up one fourth of the room. We've got this big room. How do we make it work for us more? And to do that, it involves moving both of those doors. So we're going to build a toilet room on this corner over here. And okay. then we'll have a bathtub okay. built into an alcove right here. And we're gonna get rid of the tile floor and I'm bringing in a wood floor. Yeah. So then a walk-in shower stays on that corner. The door into the bathroom scoots over and that closet door moves to the bedroom. And then the vanity can then shift against ah. this corner. I'm scared to get started because this is it. All right, let's tear it up. Pretty much everything except for our bathroom is delicate demo. What are y'all working on? Hey, girl. Hey. We are putting in beams. A big part of the reason we bought the house is because of all the original woodwork in the house. So the beams are important. They look good, don't they? They would look very good, but there is a problem because we've got to have a task light over the sink. It's right against the beam. The lighting is the most important thing. It really is. Where your lights land are the places where you do your work. So that's not movable. The beams are, though. All right, now I've got an idea, and Austin may cuss me for it. What if we had a center beam then, so we have kind of a coffer, like in the other rooms? If you want to coffer it, the answer, I think, is actually if we have two beams going this direction, forget these and we have one beam that crosses them. And then it doesn't interfere with any of the lights. I'm so sorry. This is wood. This is hardwood, real hardwood that's printed. So we're gonna install it and the pattern has to lay out just right. 
We want to have these really wide planks, and we want to have the, what do you call them, cafe corners? Bistro corners. Bistro corners. Bistro diamonds, yeah. With a house that has such beautiful European-inspired architecture, these European-inspired floors are going to be the star, I think. Do we need to glue these down before we pop the next line? Though? Nope, because we're just trying to get us a couple rows ready. So we're saving a little bit of money on the bathroom floor. We're going to install it ourselves. We're going to figure it out. Looks like a straight line to me. We're like two weeks away from being completely finished. <laughs> the bathroom has a vanity. Upstairs in the Cousin Cubby, they're putting in the V-groove paneling on the walls. The wall of library shelving's going into our bedroom. And then the lighting, I can't wait for y'all to see the lighting. It's those lamp lights that we talked about with Katie. That's what makes a house feel like <gasps> home. This has taken so much work and time and intent and effort, but this house was worth it. Designing for myself is I am the hardest customer I'll ever have. I second guess so many decisions. I was waking up at two in the morning thinking, could I have done something better? Did I remember to get this or that? And now that we're here, it all feels so complete. So has Ben seen it yet? No, <laughs> not yet. He is going to freak out and love it. Now that we are the family we're gonna be, we're a family of four, it feels really good to be so settled that we can make this decision and find a house that would be perfect for our family. And this house is gonna be so special to us. So tomorrow, our moms are gonna see this house for the first time since we bought it. Our moms are gonna be blown away, I think. Oh. It's just like at your house, Mama. When you walk in the back door, <laughs> it's the family history wall. That's and me. I don't know who look this how is. How cute you were. I used to be cute. R. Too. Look at. <laughs> R. I love that our moms are going to be here for this because they're the ones who work so hard to give us a magical childhood. That's what moms do. You want us to go in here? Come on in. Yeah. This Check is the laundry, laundry room. room. Oh, oh my look at this. goodness. Y'all. I, I could live in this room. I know. It would make laundry fun, wouldn't it? That was the goal. And did you make the butcher block? This is from Scotsman Manufacturing. The oak, it's a mix of red oak and white oak from all three owners of this house. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. It's so adorable. I love it. I love it. Go check out the kitchen. Oh, oh my goodness, I could cry. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> I'm gonna cry the whole time. <laughs> I wanted the whole kitchen to feel a little bit worn and already used, like the kitchen mm -hmm. downstairs on Mountain Abbey. That was mm -hmm. what I really wanted it to feel like. <laughs> it's Honestly, so beautiful. I can't see the difference. <laughs> you don't you remember can't see how the it was before. You don't remember. Ben it's just as beautiful as it was. To <laughs> <laughs> and Ben made uh, the babes. What do you I think, love them. I love them. I love this. What's in there? So that's our pantries. And they're recessed into the wall, so they're deep. They don't. Yeah, they're really like deep, medicine cabinets. I like the biscuit picture. Uh huh. Do you remember the biscuits oh, from Mama's yeah. kitchen? I think it's perfect right there, and we can always think about Mama's kitchen. I love how you save things. I appreciate that. Just like that ball. Yeah, just like Daddy. You don't love it the way Daddy mm -hmm. saves things. He saves junk. <laughs> I save junk, too. <laughs> oh, and we have one special thing for the girls. A little step so they can wash their hands. Oh, it's so good. Y'all got to see the bedroom now. Yeah. Keep Are going. Come on. Yes, I'll go. come see. Hurry, I've waited for months. Let's I go. Know. Oh, wow, what a bed. 
I see my surprise. I love what? it. You like it? Andrew Reed made a bed. I one. know, as soon as I saw it. We designed it together. It's the only what? one in the world. Oh my word. Wow. Ooh. It is even so more gorgeous. Wow. The floors. You like them? Tell, I, I've never seen anything like it. Is that paint? It is a printed wood floor, but the floors we put down ourselves so we could save a little money because it was a pretty splurgy shower. Y'all added this little alcove, right? Yes. Okay. The jacuzzi tub was in the corner, but there were no walls to have a private toilet and the shower was always in this corner. Can I look at the tile in here? Mm -hmm. oh, yes, the it. floor, look at the floor. So the tile floor nearly killed Mr. David. Oh, bless him. <laughs> I know, heart. bless him, because it took a lot of math to figure out how to make that pattern land like that. It is amazing. Y'all want to go see the girl world upstairs? I Sounds cannot wonderful. wait. Come see, come see. Going up the stairs, and you'll see the wait. girls' library will be I at the top. I have been waiting and waiting. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Is that Baker? Yes, Adam painted that for us. Aw, sweet Baker. Oh my goodness, look at the baby's room. Look at it. It's like a little wonderland. I know. How magical. I love it. And the wallpaper. You like it? I do. Yes. I know you were traumatized by hanging wallpaper in the 90s, but it's back, and I just uh, love it so much. It is back. And then, you know, there was just a hallway to that utility closet back right. there. And we had the door custom made to fit that spot so we could have a little wall so it wouldn't be so scary. It's a little hobbit door. Ben, watch your head going in there. How magical. That's what we wanted it to feel Sweet. like a storybook. Yeah. And I can sleep here. Yeah. There's another spot you can sleep. Come see in here, the cousin cubby. Oh, I've been wanting to see the cousin cubby. Ah, it is so cousin adorable. Cubby. Now, we want to have a spot where when friends or cousins come, mm -hmm. they can sleep over. We added this door so that Helen's room wouldn't just be an open hallway into the toy room. Right. So you can go look at Helen's room. Oh, oh, doesn't goodness. it look just like her? Oh, the wallpaper is so Helen. I don't want her to grow up. Me neither. No, I want them to stay little forever. That's why we got them a toy room. I uh, know. Erin, I promise you, they won't stay little forever. <laughs> But I was never no, little. No, they won't. Even when you were little, I bet you this were little. I love it. I love this house. Oh, well, it's the culmination of a lot of dreams, and I think this will be a great place to grow up. I'm very proud of them. Oh, I hear somebody the downstairs coming. now. They're coming. Helen and Lucy are coming. I moved around a lot growing up, so we don't have that place that we grew up that we're connected to, and I'm, I hope that this can become that for my family. Look. Mama has ballet slippers, uh -huh. but yeah. she doesn't wear them. This is childhood, and you only get it for a few years, and then it's gone, and I want it to be something that they can build their life on. All right, girls, when are we going to have a sleepover? Tonight! Tonight? Can I come? 